Hi you guys, Samantha here, and I just got out of work, and I was sitting around, I smoked a couple cigarettes, and I was just thinking to myself, um, like we had gas cars, gas cars, you know, ranged between 8 to 20 miles per gallon. And then we got electric cars, and electric cars can drive the same distance, uh, like what, 300? It's gotta be, I don't even know, what, what is it now? The only thing I know for sure, I know with electric cars you have batteries and electric motors. Batteries are evil. If oil is evil, batteries are super evil, but they're just done on one area and not all over the place. Like, just look at the hundreds of miles or kilometers that were acid rained on from the factory in Canada. So, I believe it's Canada. I'm going off from mem information that's way back so just I mean hear me out but we got we went from gas to electric to hybrid which is gas and electric still with batteries so you got to buy both cars at once the batteries break down really fast the electric motors break down really fast and throw off a cancerous dust and I'm just sitting here thinking, okay, we called that a hybrid car. And just in calling that a hybrid car eludes to what I've been thinking all along. Like, what's the purpose of having all of these spindles and motors when one motor did this? Why well, can't we just make that more efficient? And what I was thinking is a electro mechanical gas motor so basically you use magnetisms magnetism and the gas itself to cool the magnets that also helps make the motion so it's self-powering in itself and at the very best we can't ever we can't get 100% but if we're pushing and pulling using nature's best strings plus we're using cataclysmic action of the universe doesn't it make sense that you should have an electro gas motor instead of a hybrid car just make a hybrid motor that it has magnetism uh gasification and burn and utilize what you have make your forces into one point and don't try and spread them out it's an obvious thing i can't do all the math i can only envision things and now they work so when i see that it works smoothly it works uh better <laughs> so I would uh, impose somebody try and build that because I'm sure it's been done, but an electromechanical gas motor. So you have your six cylinder loaded with uh, electro sensors and uh, you can power on power the head and the pistons simultaneously so you'd have you know like the old uh spark on a rotor system you'd have the magnets turn on pull or push open the valve with the spring with the action of the gas so everything would just happen how it's supposed to like you don't even have to have a gear touch itself 
or a liquid if you use proper magnetism and placement. And no joke, like, you can basically have a non-friction motor if you want. And a non-friction motor that releases more horsepower than the gas powertrain motors we have today. So I would push for the electro gas motor, the electromechanical gas motor, over the hybrid car, over the gas car, and you know, follow nature's steps and simple, sometimes better, and simplicity in line equals perfection. This is Samantha Michael with my Think I Know It wig, or Think I Know It do, and I didn't look it up, it's just from information that I think I know. So, I love you guys, and tell me what you think of these videos. They probably suck.